the UH-72A Lakota. A high-performance helicopter built for the demanding multi-mission environment of today and tomorrow. It's an extremely powerful machine. It's certified to 18,000 feet. Huge amount of power in the Turbomeca engines. But I know that the two big things you need are maneuverability and power. Grady Wilson is an experimental test pilot and Army veteran who's logged over 9,300 flight hours, 1,500 of them in the Lakota. We take it to 10,000 feet and shut down one engine. At that altitude, the aircraft will still climb at 500 foot a minute. It's extremely stable first, and it has the power to get you out of trouble. The Lakota is reliable, survivable, capable. Yet it offers the lowest cost to buy, own, and operate of any U.S. military helicopter. And it's versatile. It can be easily configured for a wide variety of missions, like the National Guard Security and Support Battalion aircraft. The heart of the S&S configuration is the MX-15I sensor system from L3 Westcamp. The MX-15I offers full EOIR capability with wide and narrow EO cameras that can spot a weapon or read a license plate from distances where the Lakota remains undetected. Its high-resolution infrared sensor includes automatic target tracking, a laser designator, and geopointing capability and the unit is centerline mounted for the best possible visibility. Every station in the aircraft has its own multifunction touchscreen data display, and each display can access any sensor. The system includes full GPS and mapping capabilities, and twin digital recorders can capture the imagery for later analysis. There's also a data downlink, enabling a real-time live feed of sensor data to a ground station up to 30 miles away. Sensor data can also be streamed from the ground station to a secure web link. And the system interfaces easily with National Guard networks. For search and rescue operations, the aircraft has a powerful hoist with 300 feet of cable and a 600-pound capacity. It's easily operated from the door with a handheld pendant. The S&S configuration includes a high-intensity searchlight that's servo-controlled and programmable. It can even be slaved to the sensor system to follow a target automatically. Two Cobham RT-5000 radios enable communications with both military and civilian authorities in secure or non-secure modes. Operated from a single control panel, they provide an information bridge between agencies on the ground. Its combined capabilities make the S&S Battalion Lakota the ideal platform for missions ranging from disaster relief to border security. National Guard Lakotas have played a vital role in responding to disasters such as Hurricane Sandy and destructive tornadoes in Oklahoma. They are also used extensively along the U.S.-Mexico border, conducting surveillance against drug and human trafficking. Towards the helo at this time, straight towards the helo. The two agents turn hard left, south, hard left. Hard left, hard left, but they're at the base of that tree. Hard left, hard left on the ground. The S&S Lakota sensors and data link provide critical support to ground forces, keeping them safe during high-risk operations against armed and determined criminal cartels. Delivered in more than 20 different configurations, the Lakota is used for everything from VIP transport and search and rescue, to border security and command and control. It's a highly versatile platform, yet costs less to buy, own, and operate than any other aircraft that can perform the mission. What's more, it's the only DOD program to deliver more than 270 aircraft on time and on budget. And the Lakota is made in America. You're looking at about 50% veterans that work at this company here in Mississippi. And that speaks for itself. The United States military really taught me a sense of pride and ownership. Uh, I brought that along with me here to Eurocopter. I do take a great deal of pride in, in the fact that we're on time, on budget with every aircraft. <laughs>